Hello there, Master Hellish here and welcome to this DIY video on my variety channel. A tubing is the theme of today's DIY and the reason is this room. This room gets really hot in summer. Now it's not summer now, it's the tail end of winter, we're starting to see the beginning of spring, but I want to fix this problem before it gets too hot. Last summer, I worked from home full time for the first time. I've worked from home before, but not full time. And it was not nice, it was too hot. And if we're gonna end up with that again, I'm gonna have to do something about it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and remove as much of the heat from the room as possible. And the biggest thing that does all the heat, my computer. So there's a few things in my office that generate heat. Well, the heater for one, but I have control of that. This computer generates heat while I'm using it, and I'm using it all day to on my day job, and all night sometimes doing live streams, and it gets really warm in the room. Now, the intake is in the front, it goes through a radiator that cools the CPU, and on the top we have the main exhaust. We have 3D printed cowlings to try and direct the flow of the hot air out and away into the room rather than at my legs. However, I want to get rid of this heat. So, if we remove these cowlings, which I unscrewed earlier, you see we've got two whopping great big fans. And they, when they're spinning quickly, do push out a good amount of air. What am I going to do with all this hot air? Well, I did think about putting it out the window, but that's kind of difficult to get the tubing under the desk, round the side, through the shelves and all the way up out the window, and then I'd have to have some sort of flexible bit that I brought in when the window was closed, and then I'd open the window and put it out again, and oh, that might work, and I might be able to, but no, 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 I, I could do some special big water cooling loop in the, in the place, but um, I've never done water cooling before, and I'm quite happy with my AIO that's on there. I also thought I could go straight out the back of the computer, outside. I was thinking if I got some pipe on the top of the computer and then got the kind of fans all hooked up and go straight along and out that back wall. That back wall leads to outside. However, that would mean a big hole in the wall, in the external wall of the house, and it would mean I'd have to worry about um, things and the mice and bowl weevils and whatever getting in through the pipe and then into my computer and things and I would also have to worry about the damp air and stuff outside potentially causing issues and things as well. So then I had an idea, it's only this room that I don't want the heat in. What if I can dump the heat somewhere else? For example, in the next room, over in the hall. This is a rather large space and it goes up two stories. That allows the kind of air to be able to circulate around the house and this part of the house is much easier to cool. There's more windows and stuff. So all I've got to do is get the heat from my office to here. So I have purchased a load of tube and piping which I thought would be quite nice. These 140 millimeter pipe conversions sit on the top rather well. And then the plan was to connect those to something like this maybe and then it go out and through the wall where it can then be vented. The problem is all of these large pipes just don't fit under there. The, there is not enough space for the room, the connections and the turns. It's just too much. But then my dad said, well you have a 3D printer don't you? So then after 23 and a half hours of printing, I had this. It's a little thing that is designed to go on the top of computers or on part of computers in some way. This is the 240 millimeter design. I needed the 280, but it's close enough. And on the end, here there is room for a 240 millimeter connection. So then a few minutes later, I also printed this that connects on the end and goes to my tube. This way I could get the fans to come up into this box section and go straight out into the wall, negating all these problems. However, there was a problem. And the problem is to do with one of these. This 
is a stud finder. It finds the battens and beams and studs in the wall that are every so often. That is the kind of structure, the internal structure of the wall. And guess where it is? Exactly where I wanted it to be or not wanted it to be, whichever way you look at it. So where I wanted the pipe to go through, uh, there was a beam behind the wall. I haven't drilled or anything to see if it's definitely there. I can tell it's there. This told me it's there. It's all in the wrong place. So now I'm going back to the shop to buy more pipe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an angled bit that comes out that will just give me just enough length to get around the beam. So grab the extra piece of pipe I need send back the extra piece of pipes that I no longer need because of my 3D printed stuff, and then it's hole time. And here we go. So this is kind of phase one. Phase two, once I know this is definitely working, I'm going to fix these two pieces together. I'm going to make a proper trim for around the edge. For now, I've just got a little bit of black tape on there. And I'm gonna spray paint this part black. Now, the uh, this bit is all dry fit, so it will just slide right out. So if I want the room to get warm in winter, I can just slide this off and leave it. But for now, that is all in. It went through surprisingly well. And now I think there's only really one thing left to do, and that is do a fog test. This content is supported by Viewer Plus. So looking back at the footage of the fog, we can see that all of it is being drawn into the computer and going out into the hallway, which is all very good. But I also noticed, which I didn't realize, there's actually a lot um, being drawn in through the bottom of the case. So the main fans are on the front and they go through the radiator with the CPU and that calls the CPU. And then um, the fans on the top are drawing all the hot air that's inside the case up and out and now into the hallway. But I saw a lot of air being drawn in through the bottom of the case, which is really good because it means you get cool air coming in through the bottom of the case, up through the hard drives, up towards the GPU, which hopefully will cool all those bits nicely too. So I'm very happy with all of that. It's also been another week and I have painted the tubing and I think it looks much, much better nicely painted. I got a beautiful matte black spray on that. Now, I still have the temporary tape around the edge. I am pretty confident we are there with this solution and that it works. So now that I'm pretty confident that the solution works how I want it to, I'll make a little plate and replace that tape and it'll all be nicely screwed down to the top of the case. So for now, I'm going to call that project done with a tiny bit left to finish uh, some point in the future. But when I took that pipe off to paint it, it was drying in the garden and I had a noticeable difference in the room. I felt warm, I felt hot, and I felt in a way that I hadn't felt for a couple of days. Knowing that, I now know that this solution definitely works. Putting the pipe back on and there's no hot air blasting at me again. So... There we have it. I would call that a success. Uh, now to tell the wife I made a massive hole in the wall. I, I didn't tell her I was doing this. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. I hope you like this little DIY thing that I did. Uh, subscribe for more. There's all sorts of DIY cooking trips, Lego, all sorts of things on this channel. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.